With male infertility, we're looking to make sure that we've got enough sperm and that we're getting them to the egg at the right time. When we think about looking at the causes of male infertility, we want to look at both the signaling from the brain to the testicles, as well as what the testicles are doing to make that sperm production. So we know that we need the brain to send signal to the testicles to make not only testosterone, but also to make sperm. And sperm take three months to make. So sometimes if there's been an issue with that signaling in the months leading up to that first uh, semen analysis, then we may be able to identify temporary factors that will be resolved by the time we're ready to conceive. We look at sperm and we look at blood work to look to see if there are problems with sperm production. So that usually involves, as a first step, to do a semen analysis to see that we've got plenty of sperm and that they have the right character as far as their shape and that they're moving and swimming and doing what they need to do. Sometimes people have sperm production issues because maybe their brain is not sending the right signals to the testicles or because maybe the testicles have had a problem understanding that signal and being able to get sperm to be produced. That can happen sometimes with chronic medical illnesses. That can happen if somebody's had exposure to chemotherapy or other things that have affected testicular development. And it can happen even more commonly nowadays with men that take testosterone because that interferes with how the brain tells the testicle to work. So very commonly, with men that have testosterone issues and are put on testosterone, their sperm counts may actually temporarily go down. It's a very easy thing for us to identify and correct. After we know that there's sperm production, we need to make sure it's getting to the egg at the right time. So when we're looking at sperm delivery and making sure the sperm are getting to the egg, we're looking at the pathway of the male reproductive tract to make sure there's no blockages or obstructions that some people can have after they've had pelvic surgeries, radiation, or sometimes we're just not born with the right anatomy to allow those sperm to get out to meet up with the egg. Some men do have problems, depending on what medications they're on, um, with neuropathy or issues with the sperm physically leaving the body, and that can happen with men that have erectile dysfunction, and can also happen with men that have diabetes and have different issues with nerve um, conduction and availability to get the sperm at the right time. Our job as fertility specialists are to make sure that we've got both sperm production and delivery. And if there's a lack of one or the other, it's very easy for us as fertility specialists to identify the issue and to be able to be the connection that helps those sperm get to the eggs at the right time, whether or not it's through natural supplementation and getting sperm numbers back to where they should be, sometimes to help with things and the new technologies that we have available to us to allow those eggs and sperm to meet to get us the best chance of having the best chance for pregnancy.